sunshines! So today is day two of the Booktubeathon 2014. This has been my life for the past day and a half, and I'm really, really frustrated that I'm not done with it yet. Like, honestly, so frustrated that I actually woke up in like a tizzy this morning from a dream that Christina had finished all of her books in day one and it was just because my inner me was going you should have been able to finish this book in day one no but seriously mad props to Christina because she finished two books already um, and is halfway or partway through the third book which is really convenient because I'm seeing her tomorrow and Jen and she and I all Jen and I want to do is talk to her about the selection series and what she thinks and some of our frustrations so it will be very nice that she will be done with those books. I, however, really hope to be done with this book by tonight. I think it will happen. I'm really only about 70 pages, I think. 70 or 80 pages until the end. And then I'm going to start the second one. Because, duh, who doesn't want to read more of this? So these bo this book so far is great. It's very interesting. It's a dystopian book. And I'm kind of over dystopian books, but uh, this one is keeping my interest. The only thing I wasn't totally expecting, even though it says love triangle plus struggle against the powers that be equals perfect escape, I was not expecting it to be a love triangle. <laughs> You're laughing right now. You started busting up. Anyway, I was not, for some reason, expecting like this book to be revolving around romance. Um, Matt, There's a love triangle? <laughs> No way. I didn't read it. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> now you're an idiot. Thank you. So I kind of had a, a sigh when I discovered this was happening and texted Christina and Jen right away because you might have seen Christina's tweet about today how the last texts or like the only texts that she's had in the past two days have been from Jen and I and between her sharing each other's progress in our books and that is true and also been complaining about the books because we're all reading the same books right now. Um, Christina is reading the selection series which Jen and I have already read and Jen and I are reading the matched trilogy which I am on the first book of, Jen is on the second book of, and Christina has already read. So we're all talking about these books and talking about our frustrations and it's really helping a lot. It's very good though. I'm very interested. I just wish I were done already because, oh well, whatever. I'm going to be hopefully catching up on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. I really want to finish this series by Thursday. The whole thing. Ah! So today's challenge is sort of a scavenger hunt. The challenge is to find three items in real life that are on the covers of books. And uh, I'm going to be like loosely interpreting this. So you know what? No judgment here. The first thing is matched. There's like this clear circle thing on the cover that I think is sort of like a bubble, but it's actually glass because she busts it later and it busts like glass. But um, I was thinking of getting a bubble, but guess what? Couldn't find a bubble. So instead, we have this really sad Christmas ornament that I found playing on one of our shelves that still has not been put away. So there you go. It's kind of the same. It's a circle and it can bust. Okay, the second thing, this is going to be... This is where we get into the loose interpretation territory. This next book is um, Eight Cousins by Louisa May Alcott. Love this book. And uh, the thing that I found that goes with it is this cute little Twilight Sparkle horsey that my sisters gave me. Look, it has a horse on it, and here's a horse. Item number three. This book is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I have not read this book yet. I plan to read this book. And the item that goes along with this is a pearl necklace. Ah! It's not exactly the same, but it's a pearl necklace, so it counts. Um, there you go. So those are my items. That is my challenge. That is my progress report. I just really want to be done with match because I want to find out more. And also, I'm a little frustrated at myself because I'm a really fast reader, but I just haven't had time. How far are you into your reading? How many books have you completed? Are you done already? Hopefully, I'll finish this challenge. I know Emily's going to finish this challenge because she set her personal bar at an achievable level. Hopefully I can also achieve my dreams. Okay, that is all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!